KVGC News Time, seven minutes after the hour. Time for a look at the news for a Monday. It's the 30th day of October for 2017. Well, the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office marijuana enforcement team was busy last week. On Tuesday, 94 plants were eradicated at a grow on Avenue A in Mountain Ranch. 208 plants on Wednesday at an unregistered grow on Andreas Vista Drive in San Andreas. And on Thursday, 120 marijuana plants were eradicated and 330 pounds of processed marijuana was seized at an unregistered marijuana grow on South Railroad Flat Road, Mountain Ranch. A travel trailer on the property was also found to be discharging human waste directly on top of the ground. No suspects were arrested during any of these raids. And on Friday morning, the marijuana enforcement team served a search warrant at an unregistered marijuana grow on property off of Rimrock Valley Road in Mountain Ranch. Upon arrival, deputies contacted seven suspects and after further investigation arrested three of the subjects. Aaron Davis and Josie Wales of Mountain Ranch were booked into the Calaveras County Jail for illegal marijuana cultivation. Mark Davis was also arrested for a felony warrant out of Nebraska for marijuana-related charges. And during a search of the property, multiple travel trailers that were being lived in were red-tagged as substandard structures by code enforcement officers. 166 marijuana plants were eradicated, several hundred pounds of processed marijuana, as well as two firearms and ammunition were also seized. Complaints also have been filed with the district attorney's office on several of the subjects identified at the scene for being a prohibited person in possession of firearms and or ammunition. And new leadership announced at American Riverbank. In a press release Friday, David Ritchie was named to succeed David Tabor as president and CEO. Now, Ritchie most recently served as senior vice president and regional manager of U.S. Bank's commercial banking office in Southern California. Now, no stranger to the area, he once served as senior vice president of the Sacramento Regional Commercial Banking Office of Wells Fargo. During his time in Sacramento, Ritchie served on the boards of Make-A-Wish, Northeastern California and Northern Nevada, Pride Industries, Sacramento, and Ride to Walk, Therapeutic Horseback. Charles Fite, chairman of the board of the American River Bank, thanked Tabor for his 30 years with American River and said the leadership change was made with the goal of building on the past and growing into the future and that he and the board of directors are confident Ritchie's experience and vision are exactly what the bank needs. Well, the California Department of Toxic Substance Control is asking for the public's input to review and comment on a draft remedial action plan for the retrofit of the Argonaut Mine Concrete Dam. The dam is located at the corner of Sutter Street and Argonaut Drive in Jackson and was built in 1916 to prevent mine tailings from going into Jackson Creek. In November of 2015, the Department of Toxic Substance constructed a temporary stormwater diversion system to divert water around the dam until a permanent fix for the dam could be designed and built. Well, a draft plan uh, has been come up. In fact, uh, four plans have uh, been brought up, and you'll have a chance to review these plans at a public informational meeting to discuss the different design alternatives on Wednesday, November 8th at the Jackson Civic Center. The meeting starts at 6.30, and for more information, contact Jackson City Hall. And the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office investigating the death of a Calaveras County man dropped off at Mark Twain Medical Center. On October 17th, a surveillance camera showed a woman helping 34-year-old Lloyd Corson into the medical center entrance. Well, Corson died at a Valley Trauma Center late Thursday. The Sheriff's Department released the photos to the media last week asking for the public's help in identifying the woman. Calavera Sheriff's Office Detective Sergeant Greg Stark said, The woman whose name has not been released came in on her own and spoke with the department. She is not considered a suspect. Stark said he could not confirm any info regarding potential suspects, but did say that so far... The investigation has not associated Corson's injuries with drugs, narcotics, or a marijuana grow. Sheriff officials are now turning to the public and hope someone may have info about the incident 
and can call detectives at 754-6500 or the anonymous tip line at 754-6030. And ACRA invites you again tonight to the Haunted Hub. The Haunted Hub will be open from 6 to 9 this evening. Tomorrow night, Halloween, the Hub will be open from 9 to 4. Now remember... There's a scary part in the back and a less scary part in the front for the younger ones. The hub is located above Hine and Company on Main Street here in Jackson. A $5 donation at the door is appreciated. And for more information, you can visit with ACRA. And in 1938, Orson Welles began adapting classic literature for radio, complete with live sound effects. Main Street Theater Works continues to pay homage to Wells as they present their 7th annual live radio show, Around the World in 80 Days, November 4th and 5th. Now to give you a taste of what to expect, KVGC Radio will air MSTW's past live production of Dracula, Halloween night, tomorrow at 7 p.m. For more information on the show and this year's live radio show production, visit MSTW.org. And Amador County businesses, listen up. If you're going to be costuming up uh, for Halloween, post a pic and win a pizza. On Halloween Day, post a picture of your costumed employees and your business. Put it on Facebook, on the Chamber of Commerce Facebook page, and uh, you could win a pizza party valued at uh, up to $200 for your business. Sponsored by the Buy and Sell and KVGC. Simple as that. So if you're dressing up for Halloween, take a picture, post it on the Amador County Chamber of Commerce Facebook page, and you could be a winner. And that's a look at local news on a gold country Monday morning. From the KVGC News Center, I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting.